Happy St. Patrick's Day from Seaway Whiskey Wire. Tonight in the bar, we're going to do something very Irish and very special. We're going to do a stout, old-fashioned cocktail. Stick around, you're not going to want to miss it. Who that hat is hot. Welcome back and thanks for sticking around. I'm Tyler, and like I said, we're going to do a stout, old-fashioned cocktail, which is really just an Irish rift on an old-fashioned cocktail. So you're not, I know it looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff here. You don't really need all that much, so... What are we working with today? Well, we're gonna work with two up, two to three ounces of orange bitters, or your choice of bitters. In this case here, I'm gonna use two kinds, so you might wanna amp it up a little bit. But yeah, if you got orange bitters, that really complements the drink well. So we're gonna go with two to three dashes of that. Like I said, two to three dashes of spiced up coffee, or spiced up chocolate bitters, sorry. And both these bitters here are from uh, Top Shelf Distillers in Perth. I'll put the link down in the description below. Check them out, really great products for sure. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. Just like to push a great product when I see it. Uh, then we're going to need two bar spoons of our simple syrup. I'm using a one-to-one -one ratio, so one part water to one part sugar. And then we've got our star of the show, some Irish whiskey. We're going to go with Bushmills Original Irish Whiskey tonight. It's 40% uh, ABV, uh, chill filtered, and <laughs> color added. But, you know, it's a classic Irish whiskey from one of the oldest distilleries on Ireland and we're gonna go with uh, some Bushmills tonight and then we're gonna top it off with some Guinness Stout with a little twist of it we're gonna froth it up with a coffee frother and we are definitely gonna, gonna place that on top of it just add, the, add it and make it just that little bit more Irish so yeah so we're gonna use the top of a shaker tin for that so yeah start off two to three dashes of our orange bitters I like the orange bitters for this drink. Just makes it a little more fresher and vibrant. You could use Angostura if you got it, uh, but if you got the orange, I recommend going with the orange. And the chocolate bitters, I don't got much left here, so we're just gonna use the rest of it there. But yeah, two to three dashes of the chocolate bitters. Have to go back to Perth to get some more of that. Then we want two bar spoons of our simple syrup. So grab your bar spoon and always pour over top of your mixing vessel. What's the, what's the rule, guys? Least, exp least expensive uh, product loaded, loaded in first. All right. We'll grab our jigger and we want a two ounce pour of our Bushmills Original Irish Whiskey. And right into the vessel. Boom. So you made your old fashioned now. So what's next? Fresh ice, always, right? I forgot to mention, we're also going to smoke the cocktail glass. I'm smoking with some apple wood tonight. So we'll get some fire going here. And we'll get the smoking. And I'll just fill that nice glass full of apple smoke. Just like so. Uh, snuff her out. Save some of that smoke in there. And we'll get to stirring. How long are we stirring for, folks? 25 to 30 seconds. Or to taste, taste always. As my old buddy Bruce would, would say. So we'll try it. Yep, very good. All right, glass has been smoked. We'll take that out there and let the smoke waft up into our noses. It smells good. Grab your Hawthorn strainer, or in my case, a julep strainer. Don't forget to put your ice cube in there and strain over nice fresh ice, nice big cube. And there you go, an old fat, wait a minute, what did we forget? We gotta make it even more Irish with some Guinness. So we'll take a pop to the top of the Guinness there, that widget, widget going in there with that uh, nitrogen. Don't put too much in there. And we're gonna grab our coffee frother. We're going to froth away and get a nice foam, a nice foam Guinness head for our nice stout Irish old fashioned. So you want to kind of go at this a couple different ways to get that froth to populate in the bottom half of the shaker. You want to just kind of Scoop and spoon that on top of your 
fashion like so. Look at that. And you got that nice Guinness head on there. Your stout, old fashioned Irish cocktail for St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. Cheers. Slanja. Wow. <laughs> it's really good. Like, what am I going to say? It's really good. You've got that, that bitter chocolatey component of the stout on the top. And then you've got everything filtering through that. The nice fruitiness of the Bushmills. Original Irish whiskey going through there. And just very smooth, very gentle. But, but yeah, very well-rounded and very, very, very nice. I, I really like this cocktail. It's something special for St. Patty's Day, but you know what? It, it's, it's good all around. It, yeah, it's a bit of work, but you know what? It makes you look really good in front of your friends, and it's a really, really good, refreshing uh, sipper. So, yeah, hopefully you'll make that tonight, and uh, hopefully you like that. I'm going to go in for another sip. Yeah, like I said, happy St. Patty's Day from uh, us at CO Whiskey Wire. If you like what we're doing here at CO Whiskey Wire, please like and subscribe down below. Let me know what you guys are doing. What, what are you drinking this St. Patty's Day? Are you having an Irish cocktail? Are you having a stout Irish old-fashioned cocktail like we're making here? Or are you doing something completely different? Is it green beer? Is it? Are you sipping some Writer's Tears? Are you sipping some Sexton? Are you sipping... Some Bushmills, what are you sipping? Let me know. I'd like to hear from you guys. And uh, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, at Seaway Whiskey Wire. And yeah, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, hopefully you're with friends, and hopefully you're staying safe. Cheers. Salonja, to your health. I'll see you around. Bye for now.